We are West High Weekly, keeping you updated on what's happening at West High. I'm Shanti. And I'm Barbara. Now for this week's top stories. The second trimester ends Wednesday, February 25th. There will be no school this Thursday. Final grades are due on Friday morning. Teachers recommend to check with them to make sure all assignments are in and grades are recorded. The lunch schedule for next trimester will be a BCA schedule. The top floor has B lunch, the middle floor has C lunch, and the bottom floor has A lunch. Your lunch depends on what floor you're on during fourth period. The West High Symphonic Band and Wind Ensemble played its February concert last Thursday in the West High Auditorium. The next band performance will be the Concert and Varsity Bands on Tuesday, March 10th. Six wrestlers qualified for the state wrestling tournament, four placed in the top eight in the state. For a complete list of the names, check out WSSPaper.com. Westside hosted the Canelli's Invitational for debate from Friday to Sunday. Westside debaters competed in the Novice Division on Friday and Saturday. Students and parent volunteers helped coordinate this competition. So our tournament is named after uh, David Canellis, who was the speech and debate coach at West High from 1968 to 1986. Leaders from Best Buddies met with other chapters from Eastern Iowa at Kennedy High School on Saturday. The group learned how to improve involvement within their own schools. Ideas for Spread the Word to End the Word Month were also discussed. The event will happen in March. West administrators were, will encourage students to take a pledge against using the word retard. Students can learn more on March 5th and 6th in the Commons during all lunches. The West High Show Choir sang and danced its way to high honors at Davenport competition. Good Time Company placed 5th in Davenport, West, and West Side's Prep Show Choir group Showtime also placed 2nd in the Prep Division. Behind the Mask has invited Christine Allen to lead activities that promote an open and non-judgmental atmosphere at school. If you signed up for the AMC 10 or 12B, this is a reminder that the test will happen Wednesday the 25th. It starts in 3.30 in room 206. Students should have signed up for this earlier this month. February is Black History Month. With it comes the opportunity to learn more about black culture and critical points in American history, such as the Civil Rights Movement. Here is Mr. Eccles with his own bit on Black History Month. When I learn something new about black history, it really opens my eyes to, to see um, you know, what people generations before me, what they had to go through um, and experience to get to where we are today. You can still celebrate Black History Month by going to see Ta-Nehisi Coates at the Ingler. There he'll be, he'll be presenting his lecture, A Deeper Black, Race in America, for free tonight at 7.30 p.m. Theories, labs, and periodic tables of elements. They're all things local high school chemists will be tested on at the University of Iowa's Chemistry Olympiad. The contests kick off on Thursday, February 26th, and the local competition is the first step in an international chemistry competition aimed at finding the best young chemists in the world. Winners will move to the National Chemistry Olympiad later this year. Those names will be announced in April. It's not too late to buy your tickets for the Swing Into Spring show on March 1st. There's two shows that day, one at 2 o'clock and another at 5.30. Organizers say there will also be extra tickets sold at the door the day of the show. Students participated in a Prussell School of Music flash mob at the Coral Ridge Mall. They played Paco Bell's Cannon. Students will be recognized for excellence in the classroom. The National Honor Society will host its annual award ceremony in the West Auditorium on Monday, March 2nd at 7 o'clock. That's what you need to know for this week up ahead. If your club or organization would like to be featured, please contact us at westsidestorypaper at gmail.com. And until next time, we're West High Weekly.